All right, guys, here is your full video tour of 32 Cali Hermosa. Um, I'm not sure how familiar you are with Pensacola Beach, but one of the cool things about um, this stretch over here um, on the Gulf is that a lot of these are permanent residences and you don't have as much traffic as you do um, over on Areola with the you know vacation renters and all that all the time. I don't know if that's a thing for you guys. I just wanted to point that out. Um, we have garage access on both sides. It does need a little TLC out here. The landscaping definitely needs some sprucing up. Um, super easy stuff out here on the beach though. Um, you know, pretty natural. Most, most yards out here don't have grass. The neighbor does across the street. They usually go with the natural look. Could use a nice pressure washing out here as well. Um, I just walked the house and it's interesting. It's got some quirky stuff. Could be really cool. Um, obviously needs lots of updating. But I have a few ideas in here that I think would be cool. So we obviously have hurricane shutters on this house. Um, the stucco from what I've seen, I haven't gone down underneath, appears to be in decent shape. Front doors have been like restained, but you can see they need a little bit of love. Maybe some new ones out here. All right. So I was trying to figure this out when I first came in. This is almost like a second living space or entertaining space. Um, down here on the second floor or the first floor kind of technically So on the right over here, we have a ton of built-ins here set up as an office Tons of natural light in this house. There's windows everywhere, which is just wonderful and This looks out onto the front porch over here And we have another side desk over here that loops around into a full bath that also goes outside. You could definitely do a double vanity in here if you wanted to. Obviously there's plenty, plenty of space for it. I don't know that you need to do that um, in here, but there's definitely room for it. This goes out into the side patio here, but I'll take you out every doorway so you can kind of see everything. Stairs are a little corroded here you can see let me see if I can zoom in on that for you there you go um, so those are not an amazing shape on the bottom don't know how much life that would have left in them all right so this is technically the first bedroom over here on this floor and let me show you the walk-in over here too a little walk-in shower here pretty dated stuff functional obviously but I'm sure you guys would want to redo all that stuff. Uh, pocket door here into what would be the first bedroom on this floor. Now, I don't, I listened to some of Travis's conversation with y'all on the phone. Um, so I know you're, you know that it needs renovations, but I didn't know if you guys were going to rent it. If you are going to rent it, this could definitely be another bedroom right here off to the side. I mean, take out all those um, built-ins and kind of utilize that space which would be a great for a rental having this awesome space right here because it's almost like you have your own, like for kids and stuff, like they would have their own hangout area um, down here off the main living floor. So again, we've got the hurricane shutters. You can see those are um, tied back right there. All right, I'm gonna keep going back in the same way so you can kind of get the feel of the flow. And then this is kind of fun. So we have like, this would be an awesome like little kitchen, kitchenette. I think it would be awesome if you took down this wall, if you could, if it wasn't load bearing and kind of bring those two spaces together and just have the wet bar right here, joining these two, or taking on that wall and kind of joining these two spaces right here. It would make it seem so much bigger in here as well. But um, you can do cool little setup in here. Then we have another entryway here that goes out, and this is where I just came from, right here. That one has direct beach access right down there. I will take you out there in just a minute. Here we have another lovely full bathroom with a huge soaking tub here, right in front of the windows. Could be a nice spot for a bath. Double vanity in this bathroom. Looks like we have a little linen closet. And, well, actually, this is a full bath I'm just noticing now. 
Um, we have a water closet there. It is a full bath, but with only a bathtub in here. So you could totally do a shower over there as well. I think that makes it more of a functional space. And then we have a little linen closet over here on the side. We also have another storage closet here. Just a typical kind of coat closet style. And we have two water heaters in this hall. Now it's interesting. Let me see, hang on. Sorry, I'm trying to figure this out too. I wonder if the washer and dryer, if this is the laundry room, that's what this is. Sorry, take back everything I said. So this is the laundry washer dryer hookup on this floor. Over here we have um, two additional bedrooms. This one has um, access as well. Pretty average size rooms. I would say you can't get more than a um, queen size bed in these rooms or you'd be pretty cramped. We do have a walk-in closet here in this bedroom. And just across the way here, we have a nice cute bay window with a nice size closet in here as well. Maybe a little bit smaller than the other one. But I would do a queen in here as well. Um, to make this room more, these two rooms more functional, if you were gonna rent it, or if you plan on having a lot of guests, I would say you would have to do a walk-in shower in this bathroom, just because that's not really functional, I feel like. Who's gonna get in there and take a bath every night? Kind of funky. All right, I'll take you upstairs first to the main living area. It's very spacious up here. Lots of entertaining space. You can see, hang on, let me zoom in on the um, um, windowsills here. There's kind of some repairs that have been halfway done. So up into the main living space here. Nice vaulted ceilings, giving for a nice spacious feel in here. Very open, expansive, lots of natural light, like I said. Tons of windows here on this back wall with awesome gulf views. And then on the front side of the house as well, you just have a ton of glass over here. So if you like light and bright, this is pretty awesome. Big living space and formal dining area. Really a nice size kitchen. The layout's pretty good. Um, we have granite countertops. Um, the cabinetry's more updated. Obviously they redid the kitchen. Um, they are not so soft. Wait, are these the drawers? Uh, soft, well, I can't really tell if they're soft closed. Sorry, I like to test them out. Not really soft closed drawers or drawers. But double wall of oven here with a, uh, like a bread warmer down on the bottom. Gas cooking range. I know that's a big deal for some people to have the gas. It seems to be a little bit harder to come across around here. Um, trash compactor, and there's also a wine fridge in here as well. Um, and a little prep sink over here with an ice maker. So plenty of room for all the stuff in here. And then the winemaker is right here on the front side of this island. So the kitchen might be livable. I don't know what y'all's taste is, but it's definitely more updated. Huge walk-in pantry here. Tons of shelf um, space in this pantry. And then pocket door into the formal dining space over here. give you the view of the kitchen over here all right so now I'm gonna take you um, into the master suite here well let me take you out here first I don't think I know on this one did I know nope. so here we have some more entertaining space um just off the main living area this is the master right here so you have like kind of a little kind of private nook over here for the master not completely private but um and then there's that stairwell that goes down to the second floor all right we have a fun mirror over here in the uh, living room 
So this is the elevator access as well. That goes all the way down to the ground floor. I'll show you where that connects once I take you downstairs. So this is the master. It's not a huge master. It's kind of got this little nook over here. Maybe you could do a little seating area over here on this side. And um, you could do a king in here. Vaulted ceilings in here too. On one side they kind of go up so gives it a little bit more of a spacious feel in here as well. Into the master bathroom. Definitely dated. I have no idea what this is. I have never seen one of these before. A built-in laundry basket, I'm not sure. Pretty nifty. <laughs> um, sorry about that, my stabilizer is being a little funky. Uh, huge jetted jacuzzi tub in here. His and hers separate vanities and a walk-in shower over here. Um, again, this needs to be all redone. It looks like it might be a, yeah, it's a steam shower in here too. Um, and then you have gold views from the shower, which is pretty cool. So the cabinetry in here looks like it was updated um, and it matches the kitchen cabinetry. It, it looks really off though, like it's all balanced funky. I don't know if you could just tighten the hinges with that or if you want to pull those out, but his and her vanities over here and a really nice size walk-in closet just with the wire racks um, and things like that but it does go all the way back over here on this side. So really nice size walk in here. Sorry, I hope I'm not jumping around too much for you. Some days I flow better than others. So here's the master suite. And over here we have a convenient half bath for your guests to use. Um, it's actually a really good size. It's very spacious in here. And there's a linen closet in here as well. So this is off the main living space. Oh, we have a laundry chute too. That's pretty fun. And up into the, I guess this is the fourth floor. Now this room to me screams cocktail room. It needs a little mini bar up here. It's got a really fun ceiling. Um, windows all around. Could be a cool office as well. Um, this would be nice to be able to utilize and have views when it's really hot outside and you still wanted to enjoy the view and have some wine and probably get rid of all these blinds too. So a fun little octagon room up here, a little bonus space. And if you were using it as a rental, you could probably throw some bunk beds or something up here or have like a little TV room or media room up there. way should I go? Let's go down the spiral stairs since we haven't gone that way. All right. Let me watch my step. All right. So here we are back on the second floor. It's got a ton of potential though, you know? If you wanted to make it all your own, it would be a pretty awesome house. And your own private beach access, which you can't beat that. Pretty spectacular. Your own little walkway coming down. benches out here to sit. There's also an outdoor shower as well. And I will take you below here, show you this. I feel like this space under here isn't utilized as it could be for entertaining space and extra hangout space. But on the flip side, you can't, you can't, you can't see the water anyway because of the sand dunes. But I think it could be a cool space down here as well. You could do some extended um, concrete um, patio pavers down here. 
and make it a little bit longer. I just see hammocks in between these pillars. Uh, the garage door is coming back a little bit. Um, but the stucco, I'm not a stucco person, so don't don't hold me to that. But the stucco looks like it's in pretty decent shape from what I can see. You know, you got a little bit of rust here on the in the on the exterior doors, which is totally normal with all the salt in the air. A little bit of wood rot down here on the bottom of the doors, but that's so typical. The gas propane pink needs a hug. Um, but besides that, here's the yard back here. Pretty natural and low maintenance back here on this side. I'll take you down through this side door here um, and into the garage. So there is a side door that you can access. Um, here as well. So here's the elevator, so that's really great for groceries. You can go right up to the, uh, the main living floor. We have additional storage space here and three garage accesses. Oh, I'm sorry, two. I thought there was three. I made that up. So very nice side space over here. More additional storage up front if you wanted to utilize this space. You can see there's some a little bit of wood rot there. So this whole side space would be really cool for um, additional storage. And then we have the back door to open up. That's usually for flow through to let the water come through if there is a storm surge. And then two car over here. And then this is the door right here that takes you back out into the backyard right there. So I'll take you back up to the main floor one more time. Um, and let me know if y'all have any questions about this. Um, maybe something that I missed that you might have a question on the flow or something I may have seen or may not seen. So second floor here. And then up to the third floor, which is the main living floor. Through the kitchen one more time and then let me know what you guys think about this one and we'll talk to you guys soon